Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. And today we're having a look at the Rittenhouse Rye. Alright, so first off I'm just going to address the audio quality. I broke my mic, so I'm using a webcam mic. Next video is going to be with an actual microphone, because so I've ordered one. And we're in Zoom because of quarantine. We're locked down. Here in Victoria. We're, we're locked down again yeah. for like the fourth or fifth time. Yeah. It's meant to be just a week. They extended it again for another week. Uh, so next week will also be Zoom mm -hmm. videos. We're going to do two this week, two next week. Yep. Um, and then after that, hopefully all back to normal. We won't be doing Friday vids because those are just like not really doable without yeah, like being together doing stuff because they'll have most of <laughs> cats just like knock it. <laughs> Um, because most of the time the stuff we do is like experimental and stuff. So we're mostly just working things out as they go, as they come. So yeah. we're not going to really be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so today we're doing Rittenhouse, um, the last of my Rittenhouse, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rittenhouse is a, uh, it's Rittenhouse rye bottled in bond. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of my new favorite, not budget, uh, I think it's budget in America, but, um, but uh, not super expensive, uh, kind of high rye, but it, it is a rye that tastes like a super high rye bourbon. Uh, and with the 50% ABV, it's, it's like a ton of flavors that me and Curly have begun to really, really like. Yeah. Um, and so with Bottled in Bond, um, it's a legal regulation that America put in place. Um, and it was like the first ever um, consumer uh, law, like it was a uh, consumer protection law. Uh, it like predated the food, uh, pure food act and uh, drug act and stuff like that. Um, and it makes basically means that it has to be um, made in America in one distillery within one distilling season um, in a federally uh, and then aged for four years minimum in a federally bonded warehouse. Um, and it needs to be minimum of 100 proof, which is 50% uh, ABV. So really strict um, regulations there. Uh, and it really does, like I understand the purpose was to like give people like a minimum quality, but like there's not a whole lot of other things like that that are really con a huge range of regulations at once besides like just the country's general regulations for their individual yeah. whiskeys. Uh, <laughs> but this one, there's not really one other than bottled in bond that really does pretty much guarantee you something decent. Mm. Like there is, you, you get like the, which, which one is it? The budget ones, like Henry McKenna bottled in bond or something like that. There's just like a few. I mean, that's not that budget here, but it's budget over there. No, no, no. But like, um, yeah. there are a few budget ones in America that are really yeah. just like very budget, but you, so you can get them for like $15, but they're bottled in bond and like minimum, you know, 50%. So you get a lot of flavor and it's all not single barrel, but the cat in the background. <laughs> Um, but there, yeah, so it's a damn good regulation. It's something you should definitely pay attention to. Uh, if you see it, it is not, it's not like an assurance that's going to be good, but it's almost an assurance that's going to be good. Um, now for, um, Rittenhouse specifically, just ignore the cat. <laughs> Can't do anything about her. If I move her, she'll just come back. Um, Rittenhouse is 51% uh, rye content in the mash bill. Uh, same as bourbon is required to be 51% corn, rye mm -hmm. is 51% rye. Uh, and then you've got 39% corn and 10% barley on the mash bill. Um, can cost like 70 bucks here, uh, a bit higher sometimes, a bit cheaper sometimes. America normally goes for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, age of four years, obviously, virgin oak barrels. Um, and it's made by the Heaven Hill Distillery, which uh, you should all have definitely heard of. Or, you know, you'll know, you might not know about Heaven Hill, the distillery, but you'll know what else they make. Uh, so they make Elijah Craig, they make Larceny, Henry McKenna, uh, Old Fitzgerald, they make Evan Williams, stuff like that. So there's just, there's so much of it that uh, floods the kind of market uh, that is all coming from the one distillery. Uh, mm -hmm. They make a great range of stuff. So you'll most likely have had Heaven's Hill, Heaven Hills uh, bourbon or rye before. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely a distillery you can trust is doing the right thing because they're huge. So they're going to be subject to quite a lot of uh, 
constant uh, checking in and regulations and stuff. Yeah. Um, but enough of that. Let's just get into the notes, I guess. Have you poured yours, Kelly? I have. <clears throat> yeah. Initially, um, I know that while turkey is not like a, a rye, American rye. I think it's a high rye, though. Yeah. So this, that, this that's the reason. Me, yeah, yeah. No, that's why it got me kind of like, because I tried it at work. Um, and I basically just wanted to try a rye, basically. And it was high, high proof, so I thought it must be half decent. Um, and I was like, holy crap, this tastes really similar to the, some of the wild turkeys that we love. It's not got the big cherry uh, bomb that the rare breed has. No. It's more akin to like 101, but with <clears throat> maybe like less, less uh, like black tea notes and more like herbal spices and stuff like uh, yeah. you know, cloves and stuff like that. But it's not super, like remember our first rye we ever had was the wild turkey Right, oh, just the basic right, one yeah. and it was like four years ago and we hated it like it was just not good we it didn't but back sweet. then we didn't even like yeah. bourbon we didn't like peated whiskey we were just like literally just started on like space sides and stuff and yeah. a touch of highland uh scotch so uh it was definitely too early to tell so we should go back to the wild turkey ride just to see how it goes mm. i have very bad memories of it which it's funny though because like we me and you are such like fanboys over wild turkey yeah. in general all their stuff we love so it's funny that we're like so against the regular ride but again we need to retry it anyway but uh, i think the so reason we'll why that. we like rittenhouse is because it's 50 50 proof or 50, no 50 percent sorry 100 yeah proof. yeah whereas what, so, the wild oh, turkey's no, yeah. 40 percent yeah yeah no, uh, definitely is, i think that makes a massive up. difference but i think like having you know 39% corn uh, makes a difference. I have no, oh, actually, look, I can't speak on that because I don't know the mash bill of the uh, wild turkey rye. Yeah. So that might have been higher rye or or lower, or not lower, but, you know, lower in uh, bourbon and stuff. So who knows? Um, but this one, I just get such nice kind of like caramelized fruits, a mm. bunch of herbal spices. I get like, like you get obviously get the rye, like the actual grain, uh, the rye grain. You get like this toasted uh, oats and stuff, but not in like a scotch malty way. You get it in like a, uh, I don't know, like uh, when you know you get those barley puffs in a cereal. Yeah. Yeah, those, you know, those little puffs mm. in there. I think, I think they're barley. It's kind of like that. It's like a toasted um, grain kind of thing. It's really nice. I'm getting nutmeg, heavy nutmeg. Yeah, it was de for me, there's definitely like a ray of uh, spices, but they're not like... I feel like the wild turkey one was really green tasting to me, like sap and just not ready. Mm. Excuse me, uh, but this one, <laughs> this one just is just dark uh, flavors. It's just dark notes, mm. sweet caramel, getting coffee in there, like um, just raw raw uh, beans. It's like a vanilla as well. And then there's this, yeah, I was about to say this, there is this vanilla green, like vegetation kind of note in there. Mm. It's like, it's, nice. it's like broccolini stalks or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's something like, it's something hefty and, you yeah. know, hefty vegetation. Oh, it's, it's nice. Places. It smells like a bagel. It's like really clingy. Do you get that? Like it's very flavor. oily. Like it's yeah. it's a dense. It's quite hot as well. I mean, I haven't been drinking a ton of whiskey, so maybe my <laughs> palate is like. When did you buy that bottle? <laughs> I thought you. I was waiting to see if you would say that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not like I've been off whiskey a little bit lately, so the fifty percent uh, feels super hot. Mm -hmm. Um, but it has got quite a bit of heat. Um, I think rye is not a. Uh, friendly <laughs> category in general i think that no. rye can be quite a challenging um harsh notes harsh um so i think that with the 50 percent is going to make it more any and a bit more of a struggle for me um, rye is normally sweet which uh, that's why i don't like I, I just get the weird herbal notes no, that like, i don't like in rye yeah, it's like a weird sweet herbal note Mm. That's what I get. But Some this, of them, I think the lower proof ones have been like kind of sickly sweet yeah, in like a really simplistic yeah. way with these gross green notes in the background. This one in comparison to those cheaper ones though is so much like richer and thicker, obviously more heat as well, which probably yeah. helps it out. 
but it's not sickly sweet. It's more just more spicy. Yeah. And like the the herbal notes are still there. And it's sweet, but, but it's in like a uh, like a I don't know, like a developed uh, sweet mm. note. Like it's it the the actual individual notes are sweet. Like it's sweet uh, kind of cereal sweet fruits uh yeah. you know stuff like that where the other ones you're referring to have just been like just sugar like plain sugar no nuance like angles to it no caramelized um sugars no uh kind of like caramelized wood sugars and stuff like that um fruits and stuff it was just kind of like sweet and then the notes were like not sweet notes it was like really sweet with green sharp weird spices yeah. and it didn't it wasn't it was not not only was it like just too sweet but it was also not cohesive mm. that's how we used to see it i don't yeah. know if that's how we still see those same uh rise i'd be still interesting, need to, it'd be interesting to go deeper. back but i've Definitely. got such bad memories it's so nice it's so oily like it just keeps its flavor like it's just it has a nice finish it's long it's caramelized i want to buy more bottled in bond we have not a that, great like i think that's our only reach bottled of bond. it We've got one that JD we have, that we have in our collection. That's the only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a JD bottle and bond at Dan's. And that's the only yeah, other one I've ever that. seen, I think. But also it's like Jack Daniels, which is fine. But it's like not really like what we're looking for. Um, okay. We need to see. I reckon if we get like, Evan, I reckon we could get, find Evan Williams, which shouldn't be very much. Um, old Fitzgerald and stuff like that. Did we mention dill in the flavors? I was about to say it's a little bit pickly. Not like in a... Holy crap. It's not offensive. Pickles, but like as in, yeah, like that faint dill pickle kind of like note. And I think that's pretty common dry so, note. It's so prominent. Licorice -y as well. It's so prominent that like note. But it's weird. like, it's such an obvious note that we're like looking for the more nuanced Yeah, we didn't like even say it. <laughs> dill <laughs> and stuff. It's like, those are there. Yeah. Um, there's definitely there. It's a rye. Um, it's not like super aggressive on the weird green tropical notes that you can no. get. Uh, from other distilleries um this is damn good i think uh well i know i'll definitely buy this again yeah uh, we need to buy it back uh for the shelves because i've uh yeah i can't believe that yeah yeah doesn't matter it's not too expensive so we can rebuy it uh <laughs> but yeah so i think that one's done uh the next episode i don't really know what it even is i think we're doing jim bean black label black yeah Black Label or the Black Barrel? What, like, what is it? Do you mean Black? It's, I think it's Extra Rage. Oh, is that the, there's the white is the basic one. Yeah. Right. We didn't want to do like overly expensive whiskey yeah, reviews over just Zoom. just for Zoom, yeah. So we're going with a cheaper end and yeah, it helps definitely. us get us through since we're not actually working. And we're not working, much. so it no, helps yeah. as well. With that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll call quits on this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, uh, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, we really appreciate it if you do. And if you do, we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.